Today, I'm going to discuss about some of the major risks for those who are moving to piping design from other field. Why am I discussing it now? Because it's important to understand about the risk before you take your final decisions. Because once after taking the final decisions and when you come across all this risk, it will cause a lot of trouble in your life and as well as in your professional growth. So it's important to understand the risk and be prepared mentally. So without wasting your time, let's begin from the first point. The first and foremost risk that I would like to highlight over here is that your past experience will have no use. So all these years, you must have learned something. For example, you must have had a five years or six years or seven years of experience in a particular domain. But those seven years are completely become zero. It will have no value and no use at all. So whatever learning, whatever time that you have spent for all this year will have no value at all. So if you are completely ready to understand this risk and start from zero, then you can definitely move to piping design because after moving it, you should not worry about the experience that you have earned is completely lost. So be prepared that and understand that your past experience has no use at all. The second biggest risk is starting with the low salary. Why is it so? Because you are not moving to piping design as an experienced. You are moving as a beginner and a fresher. So all the freshers and the beginners, they get the salary that they deserve because your salary is proportionately equal to your knowledge and the kind of experience you have. So it's really not possible to manage without any experience for the real job. You might have learned something theoretically, but that doesn't mean that you are experienced. So this is where you will actually feel hard when you find that the salary offered for a particular role, even after having a many experience in other field is not going to be considered over here and you will be offered with a low salary. So this is not an easy thing to observe. People who have really experienced knows the value of the money that they have increased because you might have increased your salary after working hard for many years by putting a lot of efforts into it. So suddenly one day, just by changing the field, your salary comes to zero or it comes to low, it is definitely not an acceptable scenario. So you will have to think before taking this decision, before moving to any other field or piping. Because since you are not experienced, you will be considered as a beginner and the salary will be offered equal to that only. The third most biggest risk is adaptability. It sounds so simple, but it's not easy to follow in your real life. For example, you might have worked in some other field or domain for several years. You might have had some sort of a working pattern, working style or working or learning style or some sort of a coordination or the nature of the work demands some sort of a character within you. But when you come to piping design, it's completely a different field. Adapting to that working style and that nature of job and the demands of the project, it's not easy. You will always say that, yes, it's easy for you to adapt on new things. But when it comes to comes to the real life, you will really face trouble. As long as if you're mentally prepared, that's fine. If you're determined, that's fine. If you're dedicated, that's fine. Because adaptability works only for those who are dedicated, determined and those who are mentally prepared. Just for the sake of an interest or just for the sake of getting higher salary, if you move to a different field, you will never ever come to know that the adaptability will become so hard in the new field rather than staying in the, uh, the previous work experience itself. So adaptability, it's not that easy as you think. It needs lots of commitment, lots of interest, lots of passion to work in a particular field that you're going to move. So please keep this in your mind. If you are already having a five to six years of experience, it's better to continue in those fields or move to a field where your previous experiences can be used so that the adaptability also works better. Your salary also you will be getting better and your, you will not lose the value of your past experience also. So with this, let me move to the fourth point. The fourth point is learning takes its own time. Do not think that overnight or within a week or within a month, you can learn everything in a particular field. Learning takes its own time. For example, a 10 years guy have learned something. It's not easy for you to learn the 10 years of experience within a month or a year. It takes its own time because it comes from a day-to-day -day struggle, day-to-day -day challenges and your making of your characters and how you improve your skills 
what kind of complexities that you are get to face what are the projects that you are going to face and all these things it depends actually so the learnings will not happen within a week so what generally you will uh, face is that immediately moving to piping design thinking that you have an experience in another field you feel like you might be able to learn faster but that will not work in that way it will take its own time you might be able to learn faster than a fresher but it will take at least several years to come up to the level where you can individually sustain in a particular job so that is far more important so do not think that you can learn within a week or a month or six months or a year in order to just survive or you know or in order to excel in a particular field it will take its own time the last but not least is one of the most important thing which is known as emotional struggle emotional struggle is going to taunt your mental strength every day every second every week every year why is it so this happens for those who are not dedicated not mentally prepared and those who are not determined see you need to have a strong passion if you want to pursue something just for the sake of moving to a piping design or to any other field if you had moved without understanding all this risk definitely this emotional struggle will not leave you i'll tell you what is emotional struggle is about it is about when you make some decisions whether you're going to benefit or whether you're going to lose it if you lose it your emotional struggle will keep on taunting you it will keep on pestering you for example when you feel that your previous experience knowledge has been completely lost the emotional struggle will continue when you feel that you are going to get the low salary emotional struggle will pester you and when you feel that you are not learning as fast as compared to your actual previous uh, thought conditions then definitely it will taunt you so likewise every decisions every struggles when you come across if you are not dedicated then definitely it will cause a lot of damage so you will keep on comparing with your past experience and the new field your previous lifestyle and the new uh, thing where you get a low salary and still you are hard, trying hard to learn and survive so all these things will not help you to allow you to learn properly and to grow faster so emotional struggle is something which is going to disturb your mental strength that will indirectly uh, that will indirectly impact your work and your professional growth and your happiness and your efficiency in terms of learning new things and delivering in your actual job so all these things are connected so you will have to understand all this risk so these are the five risks every person has to go through if you move from one field to an another field so it's also applies for those who are moving to piping design from other field as well so it's important to understand the risk so that you can take a final decision consciously so analyze the five risks that we have discussed today i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra